Hi friends! Today we will be learning what is the commutative property of whole numbers. So let's start. Commute means to move from one place to another. So commutative property is the movement of numbers. Like 78 plus 89. Here we were adding two whole numbers and the answer is 167. Now, what will be the answer if you move these numbers to each other's place? That is 89 plus 78. Will the answer be the same? The answer is again 167. So this means you can move numbers in the case of addition, or you can add numbers in any order. Here we have another example. 56 plus 109 plus 456. Add them and see the answer. The answer is 621. Now move these numbers in any order, like 109 plus 456 plus 56. Check the answer. Again, it is 621. Again, move the numbers in any order, 556 plus 109 plus 56. Still equals 620. So we can move the number, or we can add the number in any order. The answer remains the same. This is the commutative property of whole numbers over. Now let's see if we can multiply numbers in any. 5 multiplied by 8. The answer is 40. Move the numbers. 8 times 5. What is the answer? The answer is still. So this means you can move the numbers or you can multiply numbers in any order. The answer will always be the same. Let's take another example. 6 times 7 is 4. 7 times 6 is 4. So you can move the numbers or you can multiply numbers in any order. Let's have another. There are more than two numbers. 5 times 6 times 9. Calculate the answer. It is 208. Now move the numbers or try to multiply them in any order. Like 9 times 6. The answer is again 200 and what? We proved that we can multiply whole numbers in any order. And this property of whole numbers is called commutative property of whole numbers over multiplication. That is, you can multiply any whole numbers in any order. The answer will still be the same. What have we learned till now? We learned two interesting properties. That is, addition and multiplication are both commutative for whole numbers. You can add or multiply in any order. Now, let's try it with subtraction. Can we subtract numbers in 80 minus 60 is 20. Now, 60 minus 80. What will the answer be? The answer will not be 20. It is negative. So we cannot subtract numbers in any 15 minus 7. What is the answer? The answer is 8. Now 7 minus 15. The answer is not 8. It will be negative 8. So you cannot subtract numbers in any order. We can say subtraction is not commutative. Let's try with div 90 divided by 30 equals 3. Now, 30 divided by 90. The answer is not 3. It is 0 0.33, so division is not commutative. You cannot divide numbers in any order. Let's have some more examples. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 9. It is not 3. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 divided by 12. It is not 3. 36 divided by 12 is 3. 12 divided by 36 is also not 3. So division for whole numbers is not commutative. What did we learn? We learned that addition and multiplication are commutative for whole numbers. But subtraction and division are not commutative. Let's revise it all with some examples. 2 plus 3 plus 4. The answer is 9. So, what will be the answer of 4 plus 3 plus 2? The answer is still 9. 
what will be the answer of 3 plus 2 plus 4? Answer is still 9. So, which property is depicted by this example? This example depicts that addition of whole numbers is commutative. You can add them in any order. Here we have another example, 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 20. The answer is 43. Let's change the order. 20 plus 8 plus 9 plus 6. Calculate this. The answer will still be 43. What property is depicted by this example? The example depicts that addition is commutative. Here we have another example. We have to multiply these four numbers. 6 times 8 times 7 times 9. So multiplying in this order, the answer is 3024. Now change the positions of the numbers. Multiply 9 with 6, 6 with 7, and 7 with 8. Again, your answer will come out to be 3024. So which property of the numbers depicted with this example? This example depicts that multiplication is also commutative. 8 divided by 4. What's the answer? The answer is 2. 4 divided by 8. What's the answer? The answer is 0 0.5. So the answers are different. 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 4 divided by 8 is 0 0.5. So which property of numbers is depicted with this calculation? It depicts that division of whole numbers is not commutative. You cannot change the order of the numbers in the case of division. The answer will not be the same if the order changes. Here we have another example. 9 minus 3. What's the answer? It's 6. Now, 6 minus 3. What's the answer? It's 3. Now, what is 3 minus 9? answer will be negative 6. And now what is 3 minus 6? The answer will be negative 3. So 9 minus 3 and 3 minus 9 have different answers. And 6 minus 3 and 3 minus 6 have different answers. So what do we learn from this example? We learned that subtraction in numbers is also not commutative. So friends, today we have learned the property of commutativity of whole numbers.